For this Week 4 matchup, the Portsmouth West Senators welcome the Chillicothe Cavaliers for their first home game of the season. Chillicothe starts with the ball. Quarterback Andrew Hammond pitches it to running back Carte Ligon, who finds a gap and absolutely blazes past everyone. However, a holding call at the line of scrimmage brings this one back, and Chillicothe are forced to start from scratch. Hammond hands it off to running back Jordan Suwanasing, who finds some space and rushes for a first down before being brought down. This sets up Hammond nicely, who finds Ligon in stride. Ligon shakes one man and dances into the end zone. Chillicothe put up the first score of the game and go up 7-0. Hammond is looking to get things going. However, he finds his own lineman and it bounces off his helmet. And Anthony Bishop is in the right place at the right time for this interception. And Chillicothe find themselves in a fourth down situation. And Ligon punches it through. Suwanasing wastes no time making his way to the end zone to add on to Chillicothe's lead. Cavaliers go up 14-0. Now, Portsmouth to respond. Mason Parker punches in this one-yard touchdown, but he doesn't celebrate because he knows there's still work to do. Chillicothe get the final say of the half as number 50, Connor Boaton, kicks a 32-yard field goal. Portsmouth go in the locker room and outline what they need to do. They march down the field and Drew Detweiler kicks a field goal to bring the Senators within seven. Mason Parker rushes this touchdown in from Wildcat formation. Originally, the Senators were going to kick the PAT but a flag moved into the one yard line and Parker punched in the two point conversion to put the Senators ahead for the first time all game. Senators 18, Cavaliers 17. Now, Chillicothe looking to respond, but Bo Roten is having none of it. He takes down Ligon before the line of scrimmage. Chillicothe keep trying, but Roten is in the zone. He combines with Tilton Rapp for this takedown. Portsmouth West didn't allow any points in the second half as they completed this comeback. The Senators take this one 18 to 17. Reporting for Gridiron Glory, I'm TJ Swain.